This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to Assetto Corsa for another video. Today I'm going to be doing something rather foolish which is try and hot lap the Red Bull X2010 around the Nordschleife. The X2010 is the result of the guys over at Gran Turismo going over to Red Bull and saying make the fastest car possible free from regulation and this is what they came up with and as you can probably tell by the look of this car this thing is the fastest car by far i have driven in any sim this car boasts some frankly ridiculous figures it has 1500 brake horsepower thanks to the f1 engine in the back with forced induction it's capable of pulling over 6g in the high speed corners thanks to the awesome body design here producing absolutely tons of downforce and also thanks to the fan at the back of the car, making this a fan car. A very basic explanation of a fan car is that there is, well, a fan at the back of the car, which is powered by the engine, which helps create low pressure underneath the car, which in short, gives you downforce style grip, even in slow corners. On the standard wing setting, this thing will hit about 470 kilometers an hour in a straight line. Just set that sinking. 470. I think the max we've done so far in any of the other cars has been about 340 or so. So we've got 130 Ks on anything else around here. Just driving this car is a massive challenge. So putting commentary on top of that, I think I'm really going to have a tough time around here. But anyway, guys, let's go see how fast the absolutely insane X2010 can lap the Nordschleife. Okay, so here we are, the calm before the storm. Just chilling out after my outlap, which was fairly rapid, as you can probably imagine. Um, I'm going to do my best to commentate this, um, but this car is so damn fast. I can tell you right now, it's going to absolutely obliterate anything that's been around here before. Perhaps unsurprisingly, but anyway, let's see what it can do. Build the revs, and away we go, big wheel spin. Watch that speed as we climb to the end of the course, already up to 320 k's, nearly that's nearly 200 mile an hour, just before we get to the end. First gear coming onto our lap now, and it just propels us towards T1. Oh, almost no time to speak about it. Down the hill now towards passing back. What's that speedo? Small lift on the way in, 330 k's at the apex. Just trying to weave it between the curves down here. Touching it slightly on the inside there. Curves, of course, in this car, it being a fan car, curves are your definite worst enemy. Don't even look at them, funny. Down the hill now, again, just smash the throttle. Watch that speedo climb, 320 k's, 350 k's. Nearly 400, there it is, 400 indicated on the speedo. Small lift through the fluid pass, but that's because we're going 400 k's into seventh gear now. Gear's very short to make the most of that engine and its operating window. Flat through here, obviously, 440 k's, break down the hill. Second gear, what's the curb on the outside? Nice, now down the hill. You don't even get a chance to look at the trees either side, just focusing on the racing line. Again, up to above 420 kilometers an hour. Fifth gear, fourth gear, and then third, just try and weave it through here. Not the best line through here, but I'm doing my damn best. Already at that 7K mark in, well, nearly a minute it took us to do seven kilometers. Lift through here, could be going so fast, and then down through the gears, weave it through. Stamp on the foot on the way out, so much grip at the rear. It's just unfathomable the amount of speed this car has. Small lift through there just to, for the compression. Actually a bit slower through hit, miss, hit, miss, not imagine, but that's how it is. Now through the hairpin, just look how smooth it is through here. So easy, and then just full throttle again. 200 mile an hour plus before going down the hill. We're always above 200 mile an hour, it feels like. Now this corner, watch this. <laughs> just so fast. Now let's try and time my braking. And the third gear. Oh, I'll just touch the curb on the inside. Oh, it's a bit slow through there, but you can see it's so hard to place this car. You're going so fast. Taking conventional lines just, just, just doesn't work. You haven't got time for it. Again, up the hill now. Gonna leave it in sixth gear, because that's where all our RPM is. Fifth gear for the left-hander there. 365 k's on the apex, up to six again before breaking hard down for this right-hander up to the carousel. We have to go around the outside. We have no choice here, but keep an eye on that speedo. Look at the speed round here. And then we can get the throttle almost instantly on the exit. Now, got to really thread the needle through this part. Okay, got the throttle late here, late. There it is. 
run it out to the curb. Now this section is so intense. I'll try and keep with you, but just concentrating, trying to make the most of everything through here, make the most of that superior acceleration. Again, just nibbling the curb. I don't really want to be doing that too much. Just keep an eye on that speed if you ever think how, I want to know just how fast we're going. You can hear me struggling to, to keep up. My brain is at its limit right now. Back on the throttle, soft through there, and go, go, go. Keep the line, keep the line, keep the line. 400 k's again on the speedo, look down. We're three, three minutes 15 so far on the clock. This could be a sub four minute lap. Again, second carousel, we miss it, we have to miss it. Whew. Don't go off now, soft, 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 soft. And now, go. Watch that speedo just climb up into sixth gear, 420 k's, we're gonna hit 450 going down the straight. That's seventh gear. 20 seconds until four minute mark. Will we get underneath it? I don't know. We're in the right car to try it though. 10 seconds at the bridge. It's gonna be so close. Four minutes, 0.7. So close to that sub four minute mark, but I couldn't quite do it. That car is so fast. I am out of breath and I am tired. I am fatigued. My brain has melted. It's coming out through my nose. <laughs> but what a car. I know it's not real, but can you imagine this? Can you imagine driving this car? You just, you just break your neck. Your neck would just give up almost instantaneously. 450 Ks were hitting on the straight. Then that's in King, 450. That's like 270 mile an hour. So fast. But guys, if you enjoyed this admittedly rather short Norwich Cypher lap, then please hit the like button, maybe subscribe as well. And let me hear suggestions about what you want to see next driven around here. I think we've got to the peak of speed now. Doesn't mean though we've got to the peak of fun. But anyway guys, take care, have an awesome day. See you all next time.